In the beginning of gaming, games were 8-bit and straightforward. As time moved on, the gaming industry evolved. Games became more sophisticated, with bigger and bigger stories for players to adventure. Graphics became more ambitious, to the point where characters and scenery looked almost lifelike. There are countless examples of games like this. God of War, Assassin's Creed, Grand Theft Auto, etc. But despite how games become so completely revolutionized in story and graphics, there was a game that came to surpass them all. While most would think that this game would have the most realistic graphics with the craziest and intense story and an amazing soundtrack, the game in question only had one of those. This game, which had terrible graphics and no story, came to be known as quite possibly the most popular game in all of gaming history in a short amount of time. I'm talking about no other than the game of Minecraft, the brainchild of a Swedish game developer. How did this game rise to the top in such a manner? Today, that's the question I'll be covering. The story begins with Notch, who more people have heard of than have him. He's an iconic face of gaming, but he was not always that way. Before Minecraft, he was a simple programmer. He began work on a game called Cave Game. There was not much to this game when he made it available in 2009. It wasn't a full release, but even then, it seemed like a bare minimum for a game. There were very few blocks and not much to do. A small group of people showed interest in the game and made videos on it, but everyone could agree that it needed more content, including Notch himself. And that's exactly what he did. Over the next two years, he developed his early versions into much more. He came up with new blocks, some new mobs, some on purpose and others accidentally, and other features that he felt was necessary. The game was starting to become popular, and with this in mind, he released the game with an iconic flip of a lever at Minecon, which is the official Minecraft Expo event held every year. And if you think this celebration is cringy, don't worry, because Minecon only gets worse as time goes on in that department. Cringe aside, the game was now released in November of 2011, and the game was only getting started. Populator was exploding beyond belief. New updates were continually rolling out, and everyone was happy on how the game was going. Despite there never being any real story added, or the graphics never becoming any better, for the most part at least, the game had millions of sales, and that number continued to grow exponentially. The game had no end in sight as far as growth, and it seemed everything would continue uphill. But in 2014, something happened that no one expected. Notch sold Minecraft to Microsoft. Of course, this did not make sales or popularity of the game slow down. However, the creator of the game now left it for over $2 billion. Though everyone was sad to see him go, Minecraft persisted without its creator. By 2016, the game had achieved 100 million sales, However, the crazy growth and popularity slowed down a little by this point. Well, when I say a little, I mean it soon turned to be a lot. In fact, without many people realizing it, Minecraft has started to decline in interest since Notch had sold it to Microsoft. Minecraft continued to hold its numbers for a while, disregarding the downfall and extreme popularity. The game was still massively popular, so it would continue to stay popular, right? For years, this didn't seem to be the case. 2014 to 2019 saw staggering ups and downs in interest, but the overalls of the graph were certain, Minecraft was continuing to lose popularity. With new games coming out, most notably of which popularity-wise is Fortnite, Minecraft couldn't keep up. Updates were not frequent by this point. The fire that had always seemed to be under the developers to make more content had fizzled out. Many blamed Microsoft for the state of Minecraft, while others considered it was only natural for a game to eventually be drained of popularity, no matter how good the game was. But in 2019, things changed for the better. Minecraft was starting to regain players. As 2020 rolled around, the game only continued to get more searches and purchases. It was around this time that the game reached 200 million sales, making it pretty much the most popular game of all time. This sudden but long-standing wave of popularity resurgence has remained to this day. It might not be as explosive as it used to be, but it's clear that Minecraft is not out of popularity. There are several reasons for this sudden comeback of the game. Some say PewDiePie brought it back with his well-known Let's Play series. Many say Corona had a big hand in it, while others say the climb in updates being released also helped the game. While it's clear that all three contributed to the rise of the game, the fact is that Minecraft officially reclaimed its title as being a popular game. The history of Minecraft is extensive and filled with many stories of greatness and sadness but some still question how Minecraft ever became such a great game, as surprising as that might sound. 
There are groups of people that still take Minecraft for what it appears to be. A sandbox game with terrible graphics, no story, and a large community. But I like to break down what makes the game so great. We'll start with gameplay. Many sandbox games have a similar set of problems, with the main one being that players get burnt out. In a game like Super Mario Maker, there are only so many levels you can make or play before getting tired. You can't mod the game or anything either, you're just stuck with the same gameplay or creating the same set of rules and blocks. Minecraft, however, is different in this regard. While it is a sandbox game in some cases, that being when you play creative mode, it becomes a whole different game when you go into survival mode. The point in creative is to build, while survival is to... well, survive. The gameplay is not always the same too. Many popular servers have created game modes that switch up everything you know about the game. People also create modifications in this game to make things more interesting in single player and multiplayer worlds. You never know what you might come across when playing a mod or on a server. The possibilities are quite literally endless. Let's move on to music and graphics. I talked some about Minecraft's OST, or official soundtrack, in my video about video game soundtracks, which you should check out if you haven't already. You can click the card in the top right to go check it out. Shameless plug aside, everything I said in that video still stands. The music is timeless, and it works in almost every place you go in the game. It almost seems like it's designed to be nostalgic as I'm sure everyone has experienced the bittersweet feeling of childhood when hearing Minecraft's music again after years of being away. The graphics, on the other hand, are the opposite of amazing. It is probably the biggest weak point of the game. Instead of being realistic like other games at the time of the release, Minecraft is a game composed of cubes. Literally, cubes. The textures on these cubes aren't terrible, but they aren't great either. However, the game does have a solution for this in the form of texture packs. Some of these packs are made by Mojang themselves, while the majority of them are made by the community and shared and used by many. They make the game look better and more exciting, and there is a texture pack out there for everyone. Although, some still prefer the default look. The last main point that makes Minecraft amazing would have to be the community and the development team themselves. The community is filled with great and fun people. There are many great content creators out there that are making fun and exciting videos within the game. Some developers are making servers or mods with inventive ideas on how to play the game. Others make art, or animations, or music remixes all based off Minecraft. The amount of talent that the community has is almost hard to believe. But I can't leave out the developers. While Microsoft hasn't really done much to help Minecraft, the current team behind update development has been hard at work at new updates that the community has been enjoying. They listen to what the community wants and works it into the game. All of this, and more, makes Minecraft such a treat of a game to play. It changed the way we look at games, especially sandbox titles. In conclusion, Minecraft might just be one of the greatest games ever made. It's a game that has something for everyone, no matter who you are. The gaming community has felt its effects, and it will continue to influence gaming culture for years to come. It started as Cave Game, a very basic and low quality game. But through time and effort, the game has evolved to the masterpiece that it is today, Minecraft. Although he left so many years ago, Notch is still idolized as the man who brought such an amazing game into this world. If you haven't played Minecraft in a few years, I entice you to go play it now. I myself remember how good it felt to revisit a vital part of my childhood when playing. For years to come, this game will continue to be shared and played throughout the world. It may not be as popular as it once was, but I do not believe there will ever be a day where Minecraft is played by no one. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time.